Hello viewers and welcome to the lesson. I want us to solve this question on kinematics, KCC mathematics, paper 2, 2012, question number 12. The question reads, the acceleration of a body moving along a straight line is 4 minus t meters per second squared and its velocity is v meters per second after t seconds. Part A of the question, a1, if the initial velocity of the body is 3 meters per second, express the velocity v in terms of t. A2, find the velocity of the body after 2 seconds. B, calculate 1, the time taken to attain maximum velocity. 2, the distance covered by the body to attain maximum velocity. So those are the questions. Let's go to the first part. Before we do that, uh, it's good to note what you're given in the question so that we can begin from there we're given the acceleration acceleration is 4 minus t meters per second squared then a part one we're given the initial velocity of the body is 3 meters per second so we are required to start by giving the expression for velocity now to work out these there's something that i want to show you that uh, you should always follow when you are most of the time when you're solving questions on kinematics S for distance or displacement, then V, and we have A. The upward movement, we do integrate. What do I mean when I talk of the upward movement? Let's say, for example, in this question, you're given acceleration, you're required to get velocity. You can see that is upward movement from A to V. You're supposed to integrate any upward movement. If you're moving from velocity to displacement to s you're supposed to integrate any downward movement you're supposed to differentiate for example when you're given distance you're required to get velocity you differentiate distance to get velocity you differentiate velocity to get acceleration that is downward movement but in this case we're given acceleration we're required to get velocity that is upward movement so what we're going to do uh, for a part one uh, to obtain velocity we shall integrate we shall integrate acceleration with respect to t that is the upward movement that i'm talking about so this one will give uh, so integrate four minus t with respect to t and this will give 4. When you integrate 4, you get 4t. When you integrate t, you get t squared divided by 2, then plus a constant. So that is velocity. Now that is not all. We need to get the value of the constant. And when I look at the question, uh, there's something that is going to help us to get the constant. The initial velocity of the body is 3 meters per second. So the initial velocity... Uh, is 3 meters per second so given velocity is 3 meters per second and at initial velocity this one is very important to note at initial velocity time will be 0 seconds so when we substitute this v is equals to 3 in this expression we shall definitely obtain the value of the constant so v which is given by 3 and then t zero when you substitute t is equals to zero you'll note um this one when you substitute t is equals to zero and v is equals to three you will get the constant as three and therefore the expression for velocity will be given by v is equals to 40 minus t squared divided by two plus three that is the expression a part two Find the velocity of the body after 2 seconds. Velocity of the body after 2 seconds. Velocity of the body. Now we have the expression for velocity, which is this. This is a 40 minus uh, t squared divided by 2 plus 3. Now when t is equals to 2, what will be velocity? We just need to substitute t in this expression. So 4, uh, t is 2 t squared is uh, 2 squared divided by 2 then plus 3 this will give uh, 8 
subtract uh, this will be 2 plus 3 and when you work out you get this one is 9 meters per second so you just need to substitute in that part uh, the other part b part 1 calculate the time taken to attain maximum velocity that is uh, b part 1 now maximum velocity now there's something that you need to know before you solve that this body will attain maximum velocity when acceleration is zero in simple terms at maximum velocity acceleration is always zero at maximum velocity acceleration will be zero this one is very important so in this case, we shall take the expression for acceleration, which is given for minus t. Then when a is equals to zero, that will give the value of t. So t will be four seconds. So that means that this body will attain maximum velocity when t is equals to four seconds. B part two b part 2 is the distance covered by the body to attain maximum velocity distance covered by the body to attain maximum velocity you've already obtained the time that um, it will attain maximum velocity that is four seconds now what about the distance what distance will it have traveled in order to obtain that maximum velocity now you'll notice that again we are moving uh, remember this s v a now we are moving from velocity to distance that is upward movement so to get um, distance we shall integrate velocity with respect to t so distance therefore uh, will be given by we take the expression for velocity and then we integrate that and you're going to integrate it with limit because you want to get the distance that it traveled so if it took four seconds to attain maximum velocity then the limit um, will be we're going to integrate together distance from 0 to 4 because it began from 0 seconds all the way to 4 seconds. So this is uh, 4t minus t squared divided by 2 plus 3. So when we integrate this, it will give us that distance. So let us do this very fast. So when you integrate this, you get uh, 2t squared. This will be 4 t squared divided by 2 then this one will be negative uh, t cubed divided by 6 when you integrate uh, t squared divided by 2 you get t cubed divided by 6 then 3 integrate 3 you get 3t then plus the constant c so 0 to 4 simplifying this we get this one is uh, 2t squared minus uh, t cubed over 6 plus 3t plus c. Then square bracket 0 to 4. So we start by substituting for uh, the value of when t is equals to 4. We get 2. This is uh, 4 squared minus 4 cubed divided by 6 plus 3 multiplied by 4. And then C will get eliminated when you substitute um, T is 0. Or when you substitute T is 0, will not make any difference. So we shall just have a subtract 0 because C will get subtracted. So we need to solve this. 2 multiplied by 4 squared, this will give 32. Subtract 4, this will be 4 cubed is 64 divided by 6. This will be 10 and 2 thirds then plus 12 and when you work out these you'll get 33 and a third meters and that is simply how you're supposed to solve that question on kinematic thank you so much